I'm just hoping that um, something will come from this because right now, how do I make my dreams come true? This is Building a Brand from Scratch, episode one. Okay, so it is August 1st, 2023. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, my unemployment, I have two more paychecks. And um, one of the paychecks, like a part of that has to go towards screen printing because um i'm starting a clothing brand <laughs> yeah i am starting a clothing brand so um in december of last year i quit my job and i quit my job not fully knowing what i was going to do just knowing that i have always felt like i was meant for more in this world um I honestly thought it was gonna be because I was gonna do something with acting um and I just was at like a, I don't know I just I felt like I was being pushed to do more and I started like at the job that I had really enjoyed I had started to feel uncomfortable again and you know had some stuff happened microaggressions where I was essentially being pushed out until I quit but um I had been posting on TikTok and you know on my birthday so like actually like a the Monday after my birthday I had so a while back I'd posted this video of Issa Rae you know just saying like how amazing she is and I don't even think the video had a lot of views um, and then I started getting, that had been like months before my birthday. And then I started getting these like notifications saying, sis, she tagged you, sis, she tagged you, she duetted you. And I was like, wait, what? And I went and Issa Rae had essentially made a response to my video. Like, if you guys know me, you know that Issa Rae is like, I look up to her so much she had previously been on my vision board and so to see that she had responded i was like oh i just really love Issa ray and honestly shout out to her publicist because this woman not only is she booked and busy but she is constantly in every publication this time she's an l and it's every other week Psh, job Issa ray knows who i am and then i was like i'm gonna quit um so i actually did quit and I didn't tell my parents. And when I tell you, I almost got evicted twice. <laughs> Cried every single day. That is literally what is happening right now. So within quitting, I got sick with the flu for 10 days and could not do Uber Eats like I was doing to make money. And rent rent is late on top of that i don't fully know what i'm doing i'm just hoping that um something will come from this because right now how do i make my dreams come true and i moved back home with my parents one day i was like sitting in my room and i was talking to justin and um he was just like, oh, I was like, I'm sad. He's like, you're not sad. You're just lazy. And I was like, yeah, I'm a lazy creative. And that right there is how Lazy Creative, my brand, was born. So let me catch you up on everything that I have been doing, okay? So uh, how, how, do you, how do you build a clothing brand? I have no idea, okay? No freaking idea. So I started looking at... Um, you know, lazy creative, I got a logo done. And then I was like, okay, I really, I, I want to see it on shirts. I want to see it on shirts. So I looked at like print and go stations, like Printful. Um, I started looking into like, what does it take to do a clothing brand? Um, and what I didn't like is that 
these print and go station like these these like print places where you get it like just um print paid they will charge you $15 just for a shirt and then like $15 on top of that like for one so you're paying like $30 minimum for like one shirt for one sample and I was like that's a lot like how am I going to do this then I found out okay I want the shirts to be screen printed and then I was like okay well how do I how do I do it and these screen printing shops were ridiculous a lot of money um and I had actually put in a sample for what I thought I wanted and then you know what I was like why am I going to this print station that may have like Gildan which is a type of shirt bell and canvas why don't I see I started to learn about like wholesale and uh next thing you know I like put in an order for bell and canvas and I was like okay so um we're doing this and when I tell you I have been obsessed you guys it's here and then I'm gonna have samples and then I'm gonna have things that I'm gonna wear and then it's like then I have to do so much I have to like do photography and then get it up on the site and then and then hopefully make sales I don't know um this is like really hard but it's like exciting and I feel like I haven't been obsessed about anything truly since the last time I made my short film so yeah like I just this like I'm gonna be real like everybody shows you the the beautiful part everybody shows you oh my gosh here's how I made a million dollars with my brands here's how I did this with and created this brand they always show it to you afterwards or they don't show you like the truth and that is like not knowing if I'm gonna succeed um and also just not knowing what the heck I am doing because I don't know Oh, I do not know what I'm doing, but, um, but it's, it's coming. Okay.